How you doing Truman? I'm Braden Ingram and welcome to your Truman News. Valentine's Day was this Monday and unlike you, I had a girlfriend to spend it with, so... Hello everyone, and I'm joined by uh, Valencia Lorenzo. Uh, Valentine's mm. Day is today. Yes, Valencia, it is. Valencia, do you have any plans? Um, I honestly thought about just going to PetSmart and buying my cat a Valentine's Day <laughs> <laughs> collar. It's kind of lame, but... A great evening. I'm sure your cat will be happy to yes. get that gift and, you know. I hope so. Hello everybody, today I'm joined by Aiden Williams and uh, we're interviewing people about Valentine's Day. And Aiden, being the lucky gentleman that he is, has a lovely girlfriend and we want to know, hey. Aiden, what are your plans for Valentine's Day? My plans for Valentine's Day, well, um, I think we are going to probably make a blanket for it and then uh, go get some food. Probably, probably not do the traditional eating out experience. Maybe, you know, take it back to the blanket fort. And we'll probably eat in the blanket fort. And, yeah, I don't know what we're going to eat yet or what we're going to do. But probably, like, watch something, some movies or something. And, or play, maybe play some games. You know, that sort of, just chill. Honestly, just yeah, chill. bro, I'm going to keep it a buck fifty with you. That sounds like a good time, for real. Honestly, like, yeah. I'm I God. mean... Is that what you're going to do? No. Oh. <laughs> I ain't got nobody. Well, I mean, you could do that still. <laughs> That's true. You could still do it. You could That's still true. Do it, so. Hey, bro, more power to you. Thank for you sure, so man. Hey, for sure. For sure. Thanks, Thank Twizzy. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Today, I am joined by my lovely friend, Tony. Indeed. And Tony, as you know, today is Valentine's Day. That's now, crazy. Tony, as a pioneering young man, we have to know, what are your plans for Valentine's Day? Well, I'm going to take my girlfriend to the lovely location known as Applebee's. 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 Yes, I think that's a that's a solid pick. Applebee's yeah. or Denny's. Applebee's or Denny's. Truly a pristine location. Yes, yes, Either yes. choice yeah. is wonderful. I mean, akin to Gordon Ramsay Steakhouse. Absolutely. You know, the, the sodium and all of the, the options at Denny's might, you know, just etch it out over yeah, Applebee's. Yeah. But, you know, just either one. I, I, you know, you'll have and also fantastic. just the sense of dread. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Tony, I'm sure you'll have a fantastic time, whichever oh, yeah. you choose. And thank um, you so much yeah. for of allowing course. us to interview you. Of course, of course. Thank you. Anyways, this week the mask mandate was repealed, and while I can't say anything that might allude to my personal biases on the matter, I can certainly make a fashion statement. Anyways, that's about it for Truman News. I'm Braden Ingram. This has been your weekly recap.